Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Oh, <laughs> put this over. Um, hello, this is not a spring chicken. I've just been informed that the congressional interns uh, are actually going away because, well, actually, they were supposed to be unionized, but you know, since they've got unemployed union workers, they're just going to bring the unemployed union workers to work in the congressional offices. What they said, Obama has demanded that all interns in this nation. Be, pay, be unionized and paid for their job. Now that's all interns, right? All that's interns and all businesses be uh, be paid union rates for their jobs. That's union rates, even if it's a non-union well, state. I was going to say, I bet some of the regular employees wish they were paid union rates. Yeah, but they're not <laughs> because he's basically, they're trying to force unionism everywhere and um, in a 190-year tradition, it was signed on to by Bonnier, and basically the Republicans are pissed off in the House. Well, you know, part of it, you're sitting there going, well, so what? Is that important to you? Well, part of it, I used to be a congressional intern, and also I've interned at other places. Interns, um, by the nature, may be paid or typically are non-paid. And the reason why people do it, interns are because if you're in college, you want work experience. Oh, I, 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 can't, I, I, interned when I was in, even though I'd been in the film business all my life, I had to intern when I was in college because of a requirement for the students to go do an internship mm -hmm. on a lot or something. So. There's also a requirement for doctors to do an internship. Yep. Okay, so typically the interns are not paid you as much. You forgot about that. I'm a vet. I didn't have to. <laughs> they're not paid as much, right? They're but they're not interns. paid anything, it, it, basically. Yes, a lot of times they're not paid. But it's really, it's, it's kind of like a training program, right? Mm -hmm. Or non-paid, part-time job, get experience, that type of thing. So now, the, the new law, they have to be unionized. Well, they have to pay. They have to pay prevailing union wages. They, oh. they didn't say you had to be unionized. You must pay prevailing union wages. Ooh, well, now, so part of it is, is, so if you're an employer, you may not even be paying your employees prevailing union rates. They're not union members. Right. So that means you probably won't have any interns. You would just hire more people. They oh, won't, they won't hire more people. They're not. They oh, said they don't have the money. they're not hiring anybody to replace anybody with. The mm. they could. Some of the things I don't know. Some I don't know how many. Congressional interns did, did was it you were uh, well see part of it when when I was a congressional intern um, we were in the office of let's see what was he I think he was the majority whip yeah for the house and interns of course during the summer there's more of them because you're on summer break right yeah. so I think we had about eight or nine of us yeah that mm -hmm. were there in the office. Now, granted, okay, we didn't get paid, we got experience, we had a great time, but we learned how um, the White House works. So part of it is, is what now, before you have kids that are there that are eager to do it because they want experience. So now you have a paid... They have a union, we intern. have a member of the, the, uh, the government union working to do the job for you. And I love it. You know, Republic, you know why Republicans don't like it? Mm -hmm. Who are those people loyal to? Ah, the Democrats. Probably. They're loyal to the Democrats. So you're going to put important party papers in the hand of the opposition, which means they have nobody working for them now. I know. So which means, yeah, that's true. Because it's it's like, okay, you ready? You go to the DMV. Remember the DMV and all those government offices. Remember the attitude of the workers. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine them at. Oh yeah, at the offices. Well, you know, see, part of it it affects Congress because first of all. You always want your congressman, they're not responding fast enough, they're not answering the calls, they're not right because they're in between meetings or whatever have you, and they've got constituents or whatever. It's like, they're there to help you, which means they have less people to help them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But interns are generally chosen because they're loyal to the guy at the top. If they're loyal to the loyal to the government, they're not going to be loyal to That's people true. that want to cut government workers. That's true. Yeah, that what no, they said the rank and file Republicans are wanting to string Bonyard up over going with Pelosi to side to kill that thing. Pel okay. Oh, Rosie sure. Poli Rosie Pelosi, Pelosi Reed, McConnell and Bonyard decided to kill the congressional interns because it was too expensive. Well, here's the part I don't understand. Okay, look, for the most part you've got all these free people that are working for you. So it's too expensive to manage the free people. So we're gonna go hire people. A union rate to take their job. Because that's how government works. 
Um, it's how it works. Um, I, I, okay, I'm going to try to explain things. You would not see a David Letterman today if they didn't have interns. You would not see an Oprah Winfrey if you didn't have uh -huh. interns. You would not have seen a Jay Leno without interns. You would not have seen a Conan O'Brien without that's interns. That's where they started. They all network. started out as interns in the businesses that they were in. I mean, um, you know, my, my father was an intern, which is funny, you know, he basically uh, was a non-paid police officer for a, for a, until he got, he was a probate. Probate, in those days, they didn't pay you while you were on the job learning. You think he'd have been a police officer, you know, you know, but the, uh, the interns are what makes the country run. Mm -hmm. And now they've decided to pull the plug on interns everywhere. You know, it's really just a sad thing because usually those are the people that are really trying to get into the job. Or they're willing to start there because part of it is there are some occupations that there's so many people that are applying, yeah. right? Um, and interns, it's like you're not on, on the regular roles, whether you're... Um, for a doc congressional intern, the entertainment um, doctors have interns, yeah. lawyers have it, their interns for the summer. They all, and so they figure out who they're going to they have Virtually every professional to. business has interns mm -hmm. because, uh, well, look at all the things that we've got from people wanting to know. Do we know of any internships available for the fall? Mm -hmm. They all, And then the problem is, is these companies are not doing it anymore because the Obama administration says you've got to pay them. I know, so it's really just kind of, what it does is it just kills it. It just kills the program because, oh, wait a minute, maybe they thought this would spur employment. The, they absolutely, oh. they, they actually have a stupid idea that if you that. force somebody to pay somebody for a job that they weren't paying before, that they're going to hire somebody to fill that job. They don't. They will, they'll just do without the intern. They'll do without, actually the one occupation I do see that might help are temporary workers. There's a difference. There's intern, there's temporary. No, they're not going to hire. They're not hiring. They're, they're workers. You go to a company and say, oh, we need somebody for the day. But they're not doing it. Oh, they're not doing it. They said they are flat out not replacing interns with anybody. Congressional Republicans and Senate Republicans are not going to replace their interns with anybody because they're all loyal to the Democratic Party. Which means, guess what that means for you? It is. We're service. Mm -hmm. And uh, and, the guy, and and you gotta understand how many Democrats running for re-election are not going to put people on their payroll. Mm -hmm. They're gonna, you know. So well, I went from paying nobody to paying twenty people now. Golly, can you imagine for we're doing we're getting ready for a campaign? Because part of it is see if you hire people, then unless you're doing ten ninety nine, it's like an independent contractor. But if you have to hire them as an employee, that also means unemployment benefits and all of those other things. And they typically don't like to do that for temporary jobs. Yeah, they don't. I mean, um, I'll give you another example of a famous intern. Um, people remember Roger Moore, the Saint and James Bond and on Maverick. Mm -hmm. He was an intern artist on Sleeping Beauty, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, I think it was. Oh, really? Yeah, his job was even though he was an artist, he ran this the cells from one of the one of the studio, one of the drawing things to the other in England where it was being done. Yeah. Do you think that if he if they'd have had no interns back then, you'd have seen Roger Moore today? Wow. That's right. Re to me, it's really just kind of sad because they're missing out on a whole layer of employment and creativity. Oh yeah. Um, People all know Martin Landau, Martin Landau Academy Award winner, Martin Landau Mission Impossible, Martin Landau once an intern for I think the Los Angeles Times. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, Edward Ashner, intern. Oh. All you go down is the list of people that started out as interns when they were in school mm -hmm. that would never be in the professions they're in today if they hadn't had the internship. Those are now dead by the president's order. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, you'd think that you'd have Nana Spring Chick in front of the camera if she hadn't been an intern? I probably would have been big. Well, I don't know. I was a congressional intern. But she was still an intern, and she also did internships in uh, other areas of business, which all led her towards one area. Mm. So, so here I am in front of you in the front of the camera. Like I said, I am. I, I, you know, I interned. My father interned. My mother interned. My grandmother, my grandmother interned. Virtually it's like everybody doing I away know. With an apprenticeship program. That's to me. There's a difference between an apprenticeship and an intern. An apprentice, apprentice can be paid.
but apprentices around for a lot longer. You can be an apprentice carpenter, apprentice, uh, uh, you know, for a decade yeah. as you're learning the business. Basically, is you're a glorified gopher. I mean, I remember in the 1950s when I was I, I interned on the television at one on the local television station. Entertainment does a lot of internships. And I oh, basically my on. job. Okay, uh, hey kid. You know, when you get back from working on that movie with John Wayne, I want you to go get coffee for everybody. Which sounded stupid. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted my, I had a degree in, um, my college degree was in, in journalism. And you, if you got to do something in journalism, you want an internship on a TV station, not a, mm -hmm. not a newspaper, because I didn't like newspapers. I wanted to be so, I, I, that's how I did it. But I would go work on some bloody movie. I mean, I think I was in, I was in the Ten, she knows I was in the Ten Commandments. It's all my Ten Commandments. You know, I'd go, do, I'd go over Ten Commandments and I'd go back and they'd say, Kid, did you bring back those donuts? Mm. And they said, I don't care if you're working for the mill, I wanted those donuts. Mm. That's what an intern did. And then after a while, you got to the point where uh, you said, Hey, kid, go get those donuts for me. Mm. Yeah. But, um, I mean, what was it we were talking the other day about the internship? Um, mail rooms. Oh, yeah. Do we, you know... Because uh, we know somebody, you know, that recently graduated from college, right? So she asked her friend that asked me if I knew about some jobs. Of yeah. course, I asked her, I said, well, what kind of job does she want? She wanted to start at the top. Right? Well, yeah, they don't start at the top. No. Because it's like, just because you have a degree, you're in the entertainment industry. Mm-mm. -mm. Yeah. My, my, my grandmother was in the business for ages. My father was in the business for ages. Did it make any difference? No. I mean, I, I think I, I interned uh, once for Betty White. Mm -hmm. well, we're talking when Betty White was very slim and very hot and very sexy. Oh, really? 